I am going to recommend something by do something dot uh, org today. And it's an article that lays out 11 facts about racial inequities in this country. Um, so if you just want kind of some data and you're a facts driven person, which hopefully we all are, because um, facts are true, whether you <laughs> want to believe them or not. Um, but check out that article. The link will be in the description. Let's get started with today's video. Today at the tasting table, I decide which peanut butter makes my heart flutter. Today, I will be tasting 10 of the most popular grocery store peanut butters and ranking them from worst to best here at the tasting table. Just to be clear uh, and to understand the rules here, every single peanut butter is, um, is creamy variety. I'm actually a chunky guy, um, but I'm going to, I understand most people like creamy and there was the most choices from creamy. So everyone will be creamy. I'm just going to take a spoon and go ham on them. I've been known to do that a few times in my life. Don't judge me. Also, peanut butter is a top five food. IMO. So just throwing that out there. With that said, the 10 peanut butters we'll be tasting today are Skippy, Simple Truth Organic, Essential Every Day, Peter Pan, Smart Balance, Smuckers, Jif, Reese's, Justin's, and Crazy Richard's. And let's get it started with our first peanut butter. First up, we are going to fuel the fun with some Skippy. Got my big boy spoon. Um, there is something beautiful, by the way, and I've already taken the kind of uh, film over top of it off. There is something beautiful about that smooth peanut butter. I told you I'm a crunchy guy, but that smooth peanut butter is a beautiful sight. So let's dig in. I'm gonna need some water today. Mm. The amount of protein I'm about to take in today in these spoonfuls is gonna be out of control. This is actually pretty good. Um, I wasn't a Skippy guy growing up. I'm gonna give this though a solid 7.5. That This is an above average peanut butter. I'll toss it here, because I don't know what's coming next. But I'm giving Skippy a good old 7.5. Next up we have this Simply Truth Organic. Um, this is one with oil on the top, so I just spent probably five minutes stirring this up. Um, this one was especially oily. I'm actually a fan of the oil peanut butter when I go. My go-to is a crunchy oil-based peanut butter. But this one was a little outrageous, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you can kind of even see the little goopy nature of this, even though it's been stirred up. Thank you, Rosa. Pretty good. Wait. All right. Okay, um, that's not good. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it tastes strange. I don't even know how to explain it. I think the oil ratio is way off. So you're not, you're getting this weird, like grainy-ish kind of texture. I don't even know how to explain it, but it is not good. Um, I'm putting this down here. I'm giving this a 2.9. That's nasty. Um, I would not recommend this under most circumstances. Um, apparently Rosa likes it. So if you have this lying around, you're tired of it, give it to your dog. And apparently they will love it. Third competitor, we have Essential Every day. Uh, Rose is going to probably be making a lot of appearances in this video, so just prepare yourself. Um, I think I forgot to take the film off this one. Ooh, that 
That was smooth. All right, we got more traditional peanut butter. It can do the Dairy Queen effect here. Um, this looks a little like too sheeny for me, but. Oh boy. Um, this Essential Everyday is better than the Skippy. Um, and you think of Essential Everyday as a pretty cheap kind of brand. Um, this is getting flames. Um, a solid 8.3 for the Essential Everyday. And I should give it, I'm gonna bump it up to an 8.5 actually, due to that slick open skill there. That was a well-built canister of peanut butter. So 8.5. Next up, we have the peanut butter I was raised on, Peter Pan. I have since uh, grown to realize this was not the best option, but I'm not gonna judge. Maybe it is. Maybe my parents were right all along and I was the fool. Um, we have the normal sheen here. Let's see. I was right. Um, this is not bad, but it's not good. She jumps up for the bad peanut butter, but well, I am giving this a 4.2. So it's better than whatever, whatever I'm gonna move this one down whatever disastrous concoction that was. But um, this is not much better, and it's definitely below average. Mama Papa Jackson. I'm just gonna, let's just move on to the next one. Next up, we have Smart Balanced Creamy. Before I was so rudely interrupted by Rosa here, what I was saying is Mama Papa Jackson, you guys should've did me better than this growing up. I, I love you guys, but you should've, come on. All right, smart balance. Once again, the traditional kind of kind of look here. I haven't really shared all of them because they look virtually the same. So let's see. Um, there is nothing intelligent about or smart about the creation of this um this is the problem no trans fats no hydrogenated oils omega-3 and it says taste great so one of those is a lie um and then you not maybe you should put some trans fats in there that's a little offer maybe we need some hydrogenated oils that was bad oh uh, oh it's leaving a foul taste in my mouth too I'm giving this a 1.8. That's I nasty. do not want this between two pieces of bread. I do not want this in between a ch uh, chocolate coating. Um, I do not want this in a protein shake. This is not what peanut butter is supposed to be. We are looking at Smuckers now. This, to be transparent, is the brand I normally get. I get the Smuckers um, natural, but the crunchy version. This also has oil on it, um, but <laughs> not not like <laughs> like that. Um, already stirred it up. It's definitely it's a little more soupy, right? But it's not as soupy as that other one was. Um, this isn't as good creamy as it was, as it is crunchy. Um, it's, it's right, it's in between these two. It's not better than Skippy, um, the creamy version. And, and now my, my spoon, by the way, is, is gone forever. It's just going to stay in here. Um, 
It's above average. I'm going to give it a 6.7. Um, but you throw some peanuts in here and you get their crunchy flavor, then we're talking business. We have a strong favorite up next in Jif. Um, I'm confident that this is going to do very, very well. It is built for creamy peanut butter. You got that general, that look and feel that, you know, this ain't going anywhere. Ooh. When the earth and the heavens created peanut butter, they didn't think about using this top, but this is what they were creating. Easily the best one so far. Absolutely get, getting some flames. And matter of fact, Rosa, you deserve this. This is what, you can have some of this down here. There you go. As she goes to town, you hear her probably licking in the background. I am giving this a 9.3. For creamy peanut butter, Jif almost gets to perfection. 9.3. Depending on where you're from, the next contender is Reese's or Reese's uh, creamy peanut butter. I've not had this before. Um, even though I did an entire video tasting these products, I did not taste the peanut butter. So let's see. Oh man. This is. Mm. All right, there's something about Jif that's just slightly better. Um, I don't know what it is. There's a little bit more nostalgia with this peanut butter that maybe playing a role but this is incredible it literally tastes like the peanut butter inside of a Reese's cups they extracted that. like that's what it tastes like um, I'm gonna give this a 9.1 very very good but part of Reese's you, you need the chocolate so I'm missing that a little bit here uh, but still very solid peanut butter Next up, we have Justin's Classic Peanut Butter. I did not know this existed until shopping and doing this video. This has kind of a weird texture because um, it's not oily. It's not oil-based like these two were, but it's definitely, see here, it's definitely oily. Um, so it's somewhere in the middle. Um, I'm concerned. That doesn't even taste like peanuts. Okay. Um. It is lacking salt, probably, because it, it it's not punching with enough flavor. It's very bland. Um, so I'm gonna slide it right here. It's definitely better than this. That was atrocious. Um, but it's worse than Peter Pan. I'm gonna give this a 3.9. Um, for, the, for the good old Justin's white canister here, Graham. Last but not least coming for Jif is Crazy Richards. This one is literally 100% peanuts. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. Hopefully you can see that. And all it says is peanuts. I don't know how that happened in some chemical lab somewhere, but it's only peanuts in here. Um, this was also another oil-based one, so it needed to be stirred up quite a bit. So it's, you know, looks like caramel sauce.
Yeah, you need a little bit more than peanuts to make peanut butter. I, I, I appreciate what you're doing here. I'm sure this is probably, honestly, out of all of these, I would assume it's the most healthy because it has the, le like, it's just peanuts, right? Because even this one probably has other, yeah, cane sugar, salt, like it has other ingredients in it. This is probably just the most natural and healthy. Um, doesn't make it good. <laughs> I'm going to place it right here. Once again, I'm just going to leave the spoon in there because it's, it's starting to for my concrete-like situation. Um, I gave, what did I give this one? 3.9. It's actually worse than this, I'm putting it here. Um, I'm gonna give this a three. That's a nice. three flat. Cause I gave this, what did I give this abomination? A 2.9. 2.9, yeah. So I'll give this a three flat. I couldn't keep the co-star away for any longer. She's going to town on our winner which was Jif. Um, what I noticed with these rankings is a lot, oh, almost knocked it down. A lot of the, the uh, major kind of brand name ones were simply better than these attempts. I appreciate what they're trying to do and get in the market, but Jif was definitely the best, followed closely by Reese's. And as Rosa continues to finish up this spoon, that wraps up today's episode, almost we have one last thing we have to do. Joining Taco Bell seasoning, Newman's own frozen pizza, Orville Redenbacher's popcorn, and Little Debbie zebra cakes, we have a new inductee into the wall of fame, new frame pending, Jeff Peanut Butter.